not really anything going on for sunrise. It's completely clouded over. Um, so I'm making some breakfast. Got another one of these biscuits and gravy. It's my last one though. So after this, it's oatmeal ramen that I packed. But yeah, breakfast time. sealed up ready to wait until it's cooked. Um, I'm just going to try and get things ready to hit the road, refill my water, uh, get changed, and uh, then we'll be out of here. So yeah, we'll see what happens. So my next like planned stop um, isn't for quite a while. I don't know if you can see this. If I'll put like a map up. It's like five hours away up the coast and back in on the summit following along um, the ring road. Um, Thought something right now is just kind of probably just gonna take the whole day to make that drive because um, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of stuff along the way I want to stop and see and get pictures of. Uh, we gotta eat gas at some point, that kind of stuff. Um, so, a five hour drive probably just take the whole day. You know, it's almost 6 a.m. now. Um, so, you know, I'll probably take 10 12 hours at least to get there. Um, it should be a good day. Not a bad view for a little morning drive around Iceland. Cool gravel road leading to a few smaller waterfalls, so I'm gonna go explore real quick and see what happens. I'll try to bring you guys along. Looks like that's as far as the road will kind of let me go, but I'm close enough I can kind of walk and try and get some pictures. So let's go. Uh, let's go see what we can find. So yeah, we drove down this uh, little gravel road here. Um, they got some rocks laid out in the middle of it here, so I can't go any further. But um, we've got this little waterfall right here, and then that one up there. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of walk around, um, take a few pictures. We got plenty of time. Uh, some like of this one I'll stop at that isn't crowded with people because as you see there's absolutely nobody here. Uh, and just take some time to really enjoy the scenery and get some good pictures. Um, so yeah, let's uh, see what we can get into. I want to show you real quick what I'm doing here. Um, we got my camera on the tripod here. I've got a uh, ND filter up there in the lens. Let's me bring all the light down a few stops, which allows for a longer exposure, um, which lets me get stuff like that. And one other thing I'm doing, I'm using this uh, Hanel uh, capture system, which lets me use this as a remote. That way I'm not getting any um, bumps with the shutter. I don't have to worry about a timer or anything. Um, it's great. It's got a really long range, so some pictures I'll probably throw in of me at a distance. I'm using this instead of having to like, hit a timer, run away, and hope that it works out. Uh, I'll link that below. Um, I found this really helpful. I got it for this trip, and it's been great. Well, finally made it up the valley, um, and this is what we have. Not a bad view to have all to yourself, if I do say so. Um, so, yeah. 
this is the stuff I like to do in travel, just getting out, getting away from like all the big touristy areas, and finding little spots where you can find you know, unique little things that not everybody else is taking a picture of or post on Facebook. Um, so yeah, we'll just have a little bit of time here, getting a few more pictures, um, and then make our way back to the car, which is back over there. So, yeah. I'm gonna head back to the car um, and then gonna get back on the road and see what else we can find. Because you know, this wasn't part of the plan today. I was just driving along, salt inside the road, was like, hey, that looks like a good place to stop. Um, so, yeah, it's been good. I've got some really good pictures that I like. Um, it's been nice just to find a spot that was empty and just kind of get to be out here for a while by myself. So, yeah, um, let's get back on the road. Just stopped here on the side of the road real quick, um, do a little bit of filming. So these clouds are rolling across the mountain, they're looking pretty incredible. Um, just wanted to get a little shot of that. And we'll stop a few pictures here in a second and be on the way. Just stopped here on the side of the road for a minute to pull some more water. Just making some ramen for lunch. There's nowhere to really stop uh, between like hopping in this place for really a few hours. So it's just a quick and easy thing to do. So luckily this pulls water super fast. Eat the ramen, a few little snacks I have, and get back on the road. Looks like we might be able to get to the top of this waterfall uh, going this way. Just go across a little bit of a river, but should be an issue to throw the boots on. So let's go see what we can get. So we're stopped here on the side of the road. I think um, right over here is the top of a waterfall. So I think if I can cross this river, which should be pretty easy, I uh, got my boots on. Um, should be able to get some cool shots here at the top. Um, so yeah, let's see how this goes. River crossing doesn't look too bad it's pretty shallow so I'll mostly stick to the rocks uh, and then just get on across these are waterproof um, all the way up to the ankles so we should be good to go Let's see what happens boom made it across wasn't too bad well, I didn't drop any of my camera gear in that's the the main concern um, feet are still dry, always good to pack those waterproof boots, even if I rock around the Chacos most of the time. So yeah, let's uh, head on over here, I think should be able to get a pretty good view of this waterfall. Not a bad little spot here, so yeah, let's uh, set this up to film a little bit of a time lapse and I'll shoot some pictures and throw those at you here in a second. definitely say that that was worth stopping for a few minutes. Um, should have had a few pictures there for you. Hopefully you would agree. Um, now I just got to get back to the car, cross the river again this time, put my camera in my bag. Um, that way if I do slip, I'm not going to drop it in the water. It'll at least be in the bag and hopefully be okay. But the river's not too bad, so it really shouldn't be a trouble getting across again. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to get back on the road. Um, so got a good ways to go, especially now that the main road here has just turned to a gravel road. Uh, slows things down a little bit, um, but it's a fun little drive, so we're going to keep on going. I'm 
Well, made it to my one place I was trying to get to today. Um, it's still a little bright for me, and there's a lot of people around, so I may just kind of chill in the car, maybe take like a 30 minute power nap for a little bit. Um, let the sun get down a little bit more, maybe let a few more people get out of here. Um, and then we'll get out and shoot a little video and take some pictures. Yeah, so here there's two like really large vents letting out a lot of steam. The one closest to the parking lot, most time I was here, there's about 20 people crowded around it all trying to get their pictures. Another 50 yards down the trail, there's another vent, had like two or three people around it most of the time. Same thing, people just crowded around one. Um, so just, you know, look around to find areas where you can get the picture you want without a crowd of people um, getting in the way. Um, so now I'm going to try and figure out one somewhere to try and watch the sunset because I think we're actually going to get one tonight. Um, and then two, figure out where I'm going to park the car for the night to sleep. Um, so let's hit the road. Well, I'm in the car here, uh, getting ready for the night. I'm going to watch sunset. Here once it gets down a little bit more, get some pictures. Mm -hmm. 